Welcome to another video on this channel guys. Today I'm going to show you guys how you guys can remove the player. Before you guys move the player, uh, we need to talk about that I'm really really sorry I didn't post like in two days now. By the way, I'm back. So let's create right click new and create a C sharp script and then name it player. Right? And after you go ahead and do that, click on here. I'm sorry, if you can hear the background noise, I'm so, so sorry, I'm so sorry, okay? So go ahead and drag and drop the player script. I already have one, so I'm gonna remove this component and just do it out. So now double click it. If you are, if you are using the like the default thing, it, will, it should open in Visual Studio, but I'm not, because it takes years to actually like load it up. So we are gonna, I'm using Visual Studio Code. So first we need to determine how much speed you want to apply to the player. It, it will make sense first, so just to write with me, public load speed. So this variable will be, hey, how much this speed will be applied to the game object. We can, uh, we can name them whatever we want. Now we need to get input from the player. So say right, float, Pause, which means horizontal go equals input dot uh, get axis. So horizontal, yeah. So now what do what it means? It means that whatever our input position is, just go ahead and stick it out. It means if we hit the uh, the it will make sense with it will make sense just go ahead and go to edit project settings and input and if he, in here as you can, come on man there you go in, as you can see in the horizontal goal we have left and right and in the vertical we have up and down right now these right here so what it, what happens is uh, input to get access horizontal goal will be minus one will be minus one if we hit the left arrow key it will be one if we if we hit the uh, the positive button. It will be one if we hit the right arrow key, just like that. So we can just write it out just like this. And now we need to apply some force to it, right? Let's move first. Transform the translate, which makes it move. Now this right here means hey, whatever our transform is, add some force. Add some force to it. And it consistently, right? Horizontal times speed times time dot dot dot, dot. and then zero zero. Okay. Now, what it means? Hey, uh, the x-axis is this. Okay, in x-axis, horizontal minus one. Speed times minus one is minus amount of that speed. It's just like this, like this, right? Whatever you multiply with the minus one, it will be the opposite value. Time to the delta time means hey. Uh, time to the delta, delta, delta time means that uh, <clears throat> if in a in a good computer, what it will run, how much FPS will be running at the same time in the bad computer. Like in the bad computer, it's like thirty or forty. In the good computer, it will like thirty and forty. There is no difference between the physics amount uh, physics it applies. Okay. So it's it's this now. Let's get back in. Just go ahead and just run it. Come on, yeah, there we go. Now as you can see, oh god, oh my god. Okay, just click on it and just add some clipping tools. There you go. Now I'll go ahead. Twenty works for me because it just look at how small it is and how good it is. In the next episode, I'm gonna show you guys how you can uh, clamp this thing to it. It will like it will like not gonna move like outside of the boundary. We don't want that, did we? No, we don't. So let's. Uh, that's it for today's episode. In the next episode, we'll do that.